I think it was uh, quite of, um, uh, no one really quite expected uh, this to happen today. Uh, we weren't able to be to, to see, you know, the actual protesters that did the job. I mean, you know, like we were there, but it, but um, the places were already burnt and the police were already securing the place. Uh, but earlier on, I was there where, where they were protesting, where, when they started um, gathering uh, momentum uh, down at the Parliament Hill, where um, I actually uh, mingled amongst them. And uh, it was quite kind of, I'm not too sure what, the, what, what it's really like, but there were some that, some people that were quite angry. There were some that when, you know, just um, they, they, they do want their voices to be heard, but uh, I think it was because no one really came by and um, talked to them, uh, which is why uh, it aggravated the situation. I think they were expecting uh, any of the national leaders to come out and, you know, at least talk to them, uh, which is what they want. Who was behind these protests? When, when I was in the crowd, what I heard was a Malaita for development and democracy, M4DD or something. Uh, that's what they, they they were shouting, like everyone was shouting and asking the prime minister to step down and M4DD was mentioned uh, amongst the crowd. So uh, that's that's what I uh, think it was. It's it's a group of uh, people from Alaita um, saying that they want more um, of their voices to be heard and what they want, because as you know, there's this uh, political standoff, especially uh, when it comes to the issue of um, PRC. So it started off and, and then there were a whole lot of other issues that came after. And these people were saying that um, what the people of Malaita really want for, for the development of the province was not uh, heard by the government. And all they want was for the national government to come forward. And uh, this afternoon, I've spoken to the premier of Malaita province. He's in Aoki, but I managed to talk with him. And he said that it's all getting out of hand now. Had the national leaders listened earlier on to the people, none of this would have happened. He said it doesn't take much to come down and listen and hear what the people have to say. But it didn't quite happen that way. Yeah. I understand there's still a lot of anger that Solomon Islands switched their allegiances from Taiwan to China. Is that a big issue for these protesters? Yes, it is. Uh, not so much in Honiara, but it's in um, on Malaita. If you go there, it's still um, it's still uh, strong, especially what what the people uh, want, and. That's, that's visible now, as you can see today, what has happened in Honiara. It's a result of uh, all those issues and yeah, a lot of uh, other things which uh, they feel that um, the national government has not um, addressed. Yes, and of course, along the lines of proper development for the province, but the buildings that were burned, what were they? I understand they, some of them were Chinese businesses. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was a police station that was burned down um, at Kukum Traffic police station and also a Chinese um, building, I mean, local Chinese that was also burned down. There were a few looting that took place in Chinatown. Uh, so apart from those protesting, uh, there were also the, the ones that used this as an opportunity for them to, uh, you know, grab hold of whatever they can. So it usually happened during protests and that's what the police say. They don't really want any protests to happen because of the incidents that have happened in the past. And now it's happening again, uh, which is why for quite a while, uh, Monera or Solomon Islands rather, we do not really um, have, see those protests encouraged by the police. So at the end of the day, the police get to feel the brunt of what has happened. And um, I've heard the Deputy Police Commissioner Operations has called for calm and asking the national leaders to come down and try to talk to the people so that uh, they will also try to ease uh, the tension that's been felt in the city now. And, and do you think the national leaders will respond and try to take that on board? Uh, I think the, the, the situation now is a bit too tense for that yet. Probably later, after this, they should try and make something uh, and do something because uh, it has been ongoing for quite some time. Uh, we've heard that the people are not quite happy. They've had a reconciliation ceremony last week where only two of the national leaders went and they were from the opposition side. None of the other Malaita MPs were there. Um, so we hope that after uh, things have calmed down, uh, the national leaders, especially the national leaders from Malaita, 
should uh, find a way in which they can resolve the issue uh, that's been brewing um, between uh, the people uh, from Malaita and the national uh, government. Yeah. Gina, appreciate you bringing us that uh, news. Thanks for your time. Thank you.